right? I'm known for taking a ridiculous amount of tackle on every fishing trip. My buddies all make fun of me because of it, but I hate the thought of being out there and needing something that I just don't have. So a standard for me is bringing two tackle boxes, but you ever notice how often you fish out of a plastic bag, you end up going to get new tackle, and you just want to use it on that trip. You buy it specifically for that trip. Well, I just did that. Just went to Academy, pick up a few things that I really want to use tomorrow. It's been blazing hot here in South Louisiana, like ridiculous. And that gives me a sneaking suspicion about where some fish are going to be. So I'm going to go check it out. And I've got some baits I definitely want to throw to see if I can catch some of those fish. Let me show you what I got. All right, first off is an H2O Express model TWP topwater bait. This is like a, kind of like a pop R. Really, really effective bait. Got some good hooks on this thing. I've had great success with this bait. Planning on throwing this first thing in the morning when those fish are oriented toward the top. Then the H2O Express Mojo Shrimp. I've had a lot of success on this bait, mostly fishing it under corks, but a good buddy of mine named Jeff Brule throws this thing tight lined and catches a ton of fish on it. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Also, this old classic. This is the H&H &H Original Spinner Lure. These things are not very expensive at all, but they are still deadly effective. And the area I'm fishing, I suspect I'm going to lose a few baits. So this is a really, really good choice for me. I'm hoping it's going to catch a bunch of fish. And then last but not least, I also got a couple of quarter ounce rattle traps. These are also, I think, going to be really effective for this type of fishing I'm doing tomorrow. But who knows? Every day is different. You never know. But those fish, I think, are going to be where I think they're going to be because of the conditions. <laughs> that we've been having. We'll see. All right, it's four o'clock in the morning. Got the boat all packed up and ready to go. Just wait on my buddy, Justin Bowles. He's coming to join me today. He's a fishing guy, but he's got the day off. So he's just gonna be a passenger today. We got a 15 knot wind blowing out of the west right now. I checked a bunch of the buoys along the coast. That's about what I expected. Not ideal, but really it's not gonna mess us up for what we're intending to do. All right, next time you see us, we'll be on the water. All right, Justin and I made a long run in the dark. The sun's just barely brightening the eastern horizon and we're in this big channel called the mississippi river gulf outlet and it's really deep holds very clean water and in the summer when the water temps inside of the marsh get really high the fish retreat to this deeper water both redfish and bass and that's what we're kind of targeting today got this top water h2o express bait Ooh, look at the bait you saw that so we can see if we can catch a few on top first thing in the morning goodness piles of bait right here so you probably got to get it right up on the rocks if i had to guess it's like the mullet ate all the bass oh. was that you right up on the rocks, like... did he hit you yeah. looks like looked like a serious explosion tough to cast precise when you can't even see all right There's one. Oh, he threw it, he threw it. He was right up on the rocks, Justin. Oh, missed him. Oh. Shoot. Well, combined, we've gotten four hits. No fish in the boat. Five hits. <laughs> Another bite? You got him. There you go. All right, fish number one. Not a big one. Oh. Knocked it out of the water. There's another one. Let's see if I can get him in the boat. He's not big. Not big at all. Yeah, you are gonna get off, buddy. You know why? Because you're little. Oh, there he is. Switch to a rattle trap. Another knothead. Ooh, look at that. Nice fish, Justin. You were a little bit off, huh? Yeah, he's 
Ooh, is that a hit? Yeah. That's on spot lock. We'll see if we'll hold here. You got him? <laughs> Not the one that hit it, bro. Uh-uh. Oh, there he is. On the mojo. Dude. There he is. <laughs> They're not big, but I got a bunch of them. How deep he took it. There he is. There might be a million on that point. That's a good fish, Justin. All right, there we go. A little better quality fish. On the mojo. These marsh bass love these little shrimp imitations. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> These fish feel about 95 degrees. More Throw a little more to your right, right here. <laughs> That's a good bass. I mean, for what we're doing. Getting a bite every cast, and then you throw up in the rocks. <laughs> I didn't buy a ton of these, so I can't really afford to lose them. This is definitely what they seem to want today. And Justin and I are both hung up. Got him? This is definitely the bait of the day. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a real good one. That's a nice fish. And I'm hung up. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. I mean, dude, I threw in his mouth. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, there he is. You were good, buddy. Good fish. He was way off. <laughs> I'll just, to open it. just like uh, cane pulling. Get him, Justin. It's a good fish, huh? Yeah. I mean, relative to what we're catching. <laughs> yep.
That's a good bass. All right. All right. All right, the bait of the day by far has been this new penny colored mojo shrimp. This is an H2O Express product. Just picked it up yesterday from Academy. These things are just deadly. You know, these bass, these marsh bass, feast on shrimp. They love shrimp, like them at least as much as trout and redfish do. So it's not a surprise that this bait is producing all these bass. As I mentioned yesterday, my buddy Jeff Brule fishes this bait every year in the summer and fall for bass. And he doesn't really give it a ton of action. He just picks it up and lets it fall and picks it up and lets it fall. That's what we're doing today. And the fish are just kind of there. Like when you go to pick it up again, you just feel resistance. Like Justin just did, but he missed it. But there's no hard tap or anything like that. And the fish aren't really moving a lot. With the... There we go. That was actually a decent tap. That's a good fish. The fish in general are not moving a lot with the baits. They're just kind of sitting on them. But man, we're just whacking them. Some pretty bass too. A lot of small fish in the mix. But these are good solid pound and a half fish. I like the one Justin just hooked up. Yeah, that's a good fish, definitely. The further off I cast, the, the, the better. <laughs> Get him, Justine. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Oh, we got a 10 pound for it. Ah, dude, that's a good fish. What do we call that one? It's 17, right? I'm going to have to count them in a minute. I think that's 17. Chunk him when ready. Got him? <laughs> Guess I'll throw where you are. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. Kind of like you just kind of want to let it glide, like just drop it. Right. It. Like that. Uh, 18, right? You're 18. I get this one in. He's 19. <clears throat> Look at that. Chasing a shrimp. Look at that. You saw it? Here's a shrimp for you, buddy. It's a decent sized shrimp, too. I think I've only felt one, like really, really pounded. I felt that one. That's a good fish. He's number 20 if I can get him in. All right, that's it. We got our limit. Got the limit. Yeah, you were hooked good, dude. Thanks for biting so well. Throw my H&H &H spinner, see if they hit that. There he is. Dude, that's not a bad fish. If we had a bunch of wind with him, uh -huh. this would be a pain in the To throw, yeah. Good fish. On the H&H &H original spinner lure. Double hook? That's what they called it. Not a spinner bait. They called it a spinner lure. Yep, double hook. Lucky for you, buddy. You're number 21. Did I say we had 30 by now, huh? Oh, yeah. Kind of throwbacks, maybe even 40. Got him. Got him. Doubling up on bass. <laughs> Ridiculous. No better place to live, huh? No better place to live. You're right. I get so many people comment on videos like, how are you catching redfish and bass in the same areas? I can do it every trip. Come on, MR6, catch me a fish.
There's one. That's a good fish. Maybe not. Oh, shit. I needed you. Oh, there's one. Not head. Not as good as the last one. How big are you? That's a good fish. Look at this fish. Look at this. Get the net, Justin. <laughs> that might be a three pounder, huh? I would say so. Too. All right. He was way off, huh? Yep. He sure was. Man, good thing you netted him because that hook came right out. This fish was caught on a bait that I'm really just beginning to fish. It's called an MR6, and it's really perfect for this type of situation with this little bit deeper water. It's a Bill Lewis product. Same people who make the Echo 1.75. This one just dives a good bit deeper. And that's a, that's a chunk right there. Dude, what is that? No, big bass. Big gorilla. <laughs> but a two, two and a half for sure. Dude, he stayed down. Is that a red? Red fish! Red fish! Yep. All right, Justin. About a 17, 18. All right, fishing out of my plastic bag of baits that I got from Academy proved to be a rousing success today. Just crazy, crazy action nonstop. These fish stack up in this deep water whenever temperatures get really, really high. You figure in the marsh right now, water temps are 88 to 90 degrees, and they're just not comfortable in that, so they retreat to this deeper water, and they're just really stacked up. We quickly caught our limit and played catch and release for a while. Justin's still back there fishing catching them hand over fist one after another but it's not even 8 a.m. and we're about to head home so don't discount those mojo shrimp when you're heading to catch these marsh bass also redfish love them well hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the marsh man mass on channel on youtube and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video and until next time if we don't see you in the marsh we'll see you right here on marsh man mass on scale